Danny with Words Are Matter here with a quick languaging upgrade. I very often hear people use absolutes in describing their experience of reality and they're not realizing that every absolute is a curse that they are choosing to extend into all of eternity. So let me give you an example. I never find parking in this neighborhood. Oh, I can never remember people's names. Ah. Oh. I always fuck up the G chord. Is there a G chord? Anyway, in all of these instances, taking what has been in the past and choosing to carry it into the future and to direct reality, hey, this thing that has happened in the past, let's keep it going forever and ever and ever. So it's not, I never find parking in this neighborhood. It's that I haven't yet found parking in this neighborhood. I haven't yet mastered the G chord. I'm looking forward to it getting easier. Again, is there a G chord? I always fall out of attitude turn. No, I'm still learning to gracefully exit an attitude turn. It's taking never and always and changing them to I haven't yet or I'm still in the process of. Never and always are called absolutes for a reason. They're these giant sweeping generalizations that perv our eternities. Instead, let's language things in motion, in process, as evolutionary unfoldings. I'm still learning a G chord. I don't even know what that means. I'm choosing to get better at remembering people's names. It's taking never and always and switching them to haven't yet, am still learning, am still mastering, am excited for it to get easier, am witnessing it get better and better every time. These types of things. So Super simple, ditch the absolutes and instead language things in the process of mastery that they actually are. And as you're finding your comfort zone with it, if you're not comfortable saying I am still mastering, at least, at the very least, make it I haven't yet done X, Y, Z. So you're still opening up the possibility for yourself to do X, Y, Z versus when we say never and always, we're taking the possibility of switching it up completely off the table and tethering ourselves to an eternal status quo. Thanks for paying attention. Thanks for remembering that every word matters, that you are omniscopic amazingness. Have a rockin' day. Mwah.